Today there remain only about 20 of the 150 arcades that existed in Paris in the 1850s. These famous arcades are used by Parisians purely by chance, by necessity when they want to take a shortcut, or more often simply for pleasure. Most of them are on the right bank of the Seine, close to the Grand Boulevards, forerunners of the shopping arcades. They were built in the 18th century to house the shops used by the middle classes of the capital. They were often used as a waiting area for carriages and coaches, which is why there are so many clocks there. Lovers of antiques, little tea shops and collectors of all types, the Parisian arcades are just for you. You can also meet up with the purists there as people who choose to set up shop here are usually lovers of their work, much to the delight of the real Astet. It's something of a paradox. The Parisian arcades are places that exist out of time and yet are still very much up with the times as fashion designers often set up their showrooms here. They may be elegant, magnificent or even rather sad, but they are a reminder of a forgotten era and still carry the scent of yesteryear. One of the most sophisticated is without a doubt the Galerie Vivien, which has three entrances, one in Rue Vivien, one in Rue des Petits Champs, and another in Rue de Le Bon. The arrival of Jean-Paul Gaultier in 1986 turned it definitely into a centre for Paris fashion, but just like a grand old lady, it has remained very stylish and peaceful. Right next door is Galerie Vivien's competitor, the Passage Gaubert. Less commercial but very luxurious, it was bought by the French National Library and houses a number of institutions linked to culture and art. At the far end is the perfect place for you to go for dinner, the Grand Colbert, a typical Parisian brasserie. With its diagonal pattern of black and white tiles, the Vero d'Oda passageway gives an illusion of depth and should also be visited. One of its entrances can be found at number 19 rue Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Completely restored in 1997, it is the most charming of Paris covered passageways. We'll end with the oldest one, the Panorama's Arcade which connects the Grand Boulevards and the Grand Balatier. Its glass roof provides daylight and it is the home of stamp collectors. Others like the Verdoux, Grand Cef, Molière and Vendôme Arcades each have their own individual personality, charm and clientele. The Parisian Arcades these little walkways between buildings have kept their mystery. Few can say where they begin and where they end. It's up to you to find out.